Yesterday, my dad, brother, and I were combining corn, and I wasn't exactly having the best day. Oh, hey, look, a $600 snoot that I broke three times in two years. That looks normal, right? Two in one night. Oh, my goodness. So today, we're going to fix those. This snoot should be a pretty easy fix, because all we need to do is straighten out this bracket. But this one might take a little work. So let's do some damage. I'd say it looks like a 16 millimeter. 22 millimeters. Feels a little bit weird cutting into a brand new $600 snoop, but we do what we gotta do. In theory, all I had to do is trim this out a little bit so that we had a big enough hole to get this to sit in there. This must be a new type of casting because when I stick my fingers under here, I can hit the back side of it with the tip of my middle finger. But the old one over here is about an inch deeper. Why can't stuff just be easy? Good job, Dad. Looks good as new. Now I suppose I can look past this little bend here. I'll just take it out of your paycheck. Last night they were talking 100% chance of rain. We thought today would be a good day to service things. I dropped the engine oil last night, then it doesn't rain. I found a round headed bolt, so hopefully we'll have a little more clearance in there. I just took a little corn out of that bend there. I wanna test it, see how the dryer did yesterday. The dryer might be old, but Boy, I tell you what, last year we dried a lot of corn with it and it did a pretty dang good job. Got everything put back together, got out to the field, and then I got to put my head down and it's still not working. For some reason, we're not getting voltage. Dad, why'd you break it? We should go and do a calibration. We get a fairly level spot. Okay, and then I just follow the directions of the calibration. You put coal in the seat and things just go south. So about time to put sable in there. It is almost six o'clock and we've combined about 55 feet worth of corn. We got the height control stuff fixed, got it recalibrated, and now for some reason the combine is throwing a code saying that it won't let us put the head down. Well, that code should just go away if you just shut the key switch off. Missouri State Penitentiary. Did you go to school there? We have a first. I fixed something that Cooper couldn't fix. We got everything recalibrated and the head was just wanting to lower all the way to China, and we couldn't figure out why. So I started messing with some dials over here and I think I got our dialed in. We're back in business ladies and gentlemen. Apparently my whole family thought this wasn't gonna work because I'm abandoned out here. No one's in the semi, no one's in the grain car. So I'm just pioneering through this field by myself. Parts of me wanna leave that light how it is to see how long it takes before it rattles itself off. But then the other part of me is like, well, if it rattles itself off, then you gotta get up there and fix it, and that's downtime. This is kind of spots we're getting into. It may not be the prettiest, but we just felt we wanted to give it our good try. The insurance is not like a good crop. It's far from it, but it kind of keeps you afloat. Last dump of the night. Those lights are bright. It's like a football field out here. We're gonna see Pete's professional backup skill. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, how are you guys? Not too bad. We're gonna calibrate the combine, just make sure everything's on track. This is what you call teamwork here. Pete's down there doing the hard work. Sable's up here holding the snoot up and then she keeps asking Pete, are you sure you're doing that right? Are you sure you're doing that right? Look at that. You can see some of the guys struggle with it. It takes a little bit. I've seen plenty of corn on the ground, that's for sure. I'm not done yet. The next little we're probably talking too quick. Pete's kind of getting everything adjusted on the monitor here. We did uh, three different tests at different speeds to try to set the calibration for the monitor for the yield. Everything is dialed in and you can see down here, monitor shows 10th of a percent. The neat thing about it, these guys already harvested some corn earlier. Monitor will back calibrate and update all those numbers for us and we'll be in great shape. I just wanted to give Pete a big thank you. He is a busy, busy guy trying to take care of everybody and sometimes some of our stuff we ask for help with, I'm sure for him, it's like, what? You guys should have been able to figure that out. But we are new to a lot of this, as you guys know. Pete still somehow squeezes us in. Check out his webpage, he is there and he is one of the best. I just wanted to peek in here, make sure everything's looking good. It feels like gold. Change plans here. The field we're in right now, we're starting to get into more green stocks which making the machine pull a little harder i know there's a field down the road about six miles that's probably a lot drier stocks this field here it's standing a lot better the ears ain't real big due to the drought i mean some of these ears are less small so you can't ride home to santa and say hey we need bigger ears 
Christmas ain't till December 25th. Hey, anybody up there? And you know, whatever we do, we can sit here and wish this, wish that. It is what it is. Morning, Ford. No, the hardest part about being a YouTuber is carrying around all the camera gear. Got one more. This morning, I need to do a couple chores, and then hopefully we'll get into the field. I had to head down to my parents to bum the internet because mine's not working and I need to make a thumbnail. Let me tell you what, super interesting process. Not really. Oh, hey, I found a wrench. That was pretty quick and painless. Actually, it wasn't quick at all and it was kind of like pulling teeth. Now I'm here in the shop. I need to make a mounting bracket on the bottom of this GoPro stance. So that way I can mount a magnet on here and then I can stick this in some super dangerous spots. So that way we can get some awesome shots. If anybody recalls, last year I had something really similar to this, but... So this year we upped the ante a little bit and we bought ourselves a 330 pound Nimodium magnet. Red Loctite. Moment of truth. <laughs> Do you want to try it? That's really cool. When did you make this? Did just, you just order this? No, I just made it. You made it? Oh no. Neva, you broke it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Now I just gotta put a longer bolt in there. This one's not threading in how I want it to. Okay, let's try it again. Neva. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> I got it. Let's go try this bad boy out. I'm gonna step behind the combine quick. Make sure no corn is spitting out the back. She looks pretty good, actually. You remember when you were like seven and your front teeth were just barely hanging on? That's what this reminds me of. Looks like me and Cole are gonna switch spots now, so when Grandpa John gets tired, I can switch with him and drive the semis. Oh, hi, Dad. Hey there, Cole. Made a few rounds across the field, see if the GoPro's still up here. Yep, new magnet's working. Well, I'm out here, I'm gonna open up the rock trap quick. What the rock trap is, is a little pocket inside the throat, so in case we suck up a rock, it's supposed to fall in there before it goes through the combine. And yeah, that is strong, oh boy. All right, Dad, stick it where you want and try pulling it off. Jeez. Hey, Grandpa John. You show up and you break down again. Can't make anyone happy around here. Second shift here, huh? Howdy, stranger. You having fun? <laughs> Yeah, I'm always having fun. The real question is, are you having fun? Well, if the corn wasn't yielding 129 and a half bushels an acre, I would feel a little bit better about it, but overall, not too bad. Well, whose fault is that? Sables. Sadly, we're gonna call it a night. We still have 100 acres left in this field, but all of these require crossing little waterways that have big holes in them in random places. And I don't really feel like doing that at night. Cole's just not that good of a driver like me. That's why he's not doing it. 